19 Nocturne Boulevard. Nocturne Boulevard? Not far. When you hit Howard, hang a right. Howard meets Philip at a weird kind of angle. Then you cross James and Paul. You can't miss Nocturne. It's just past the automat. 19 Nocturne Boulevard. Your address for suspenseful stories of the speculative, strange, and supernatural. Tonight's story is Night Patrol and was adapted from a story by Steve Wilson. This episode contains graphic violence and foul language. Please listen responsibly. Yes? This is 19 Nocturne Boulevard. Won't you step inside? Did you have any trouble finding it? What do you mean, what kind of a place is it? Why, it's a modern military base in the middle of the night. In the middle of the desert. Can't you tell? Mount up. Damn cherry lieutenant. It's gonna get us all killed trying to be fucking Rambo. Looks more like that douchebag from Aliens. Oh, the asshole? No, the one that hatches out of the egg. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, ladies. We haven't gone all night. That's the bitch of it. We do. Due to recent events, foot patrols are being suspended in favor of armored vehicle patrols. Patrols will make a three-hour tour of the city. They call this a city? Dallas now. There's a city. This is a rat hole. Back home, we got Renaissance fairs more modern than this shit pile. Why the change? They don't want another major clusterfuck like that. Yeah. Jeez, Kowalski. <laughs> Better marry that rabbit's foot before it gets pregnant. So we're patrolling in Hummers? But that's good, right? Take care of more insurgents that way. Rookie. We're not on patrol to keep the peace. We're there to stir things up. Huh? How? We're not supposed to engage the enemy. We're bait. Spike one, right? Hey, eager little bastard, ain't he? We gotta top us some ragheads, man. Spike one, ready. Cherry Lieutenant, Cherry Gunner. Just bake me into a fucking pie right now. What's that? Spike two, ready. Nothing, rookie. I was on a road. We ain't even moving yet. Spike two, check. That's when we're most vulnerable. Then we're stopped. Yeah, out there. Spike three, ready. The only reason I'm not already kicking your ass is... Uh, huh? Spike three, ready. Hey, man. Blow me a smoke. What the hell's wrong with you? Thought you quit. Damn it. Shit. Here. Spike four. Right ready. hell, take it. Spike four, ready. <sighs> Thanks, man. You didn't look so good. Spike five, ready. I just saw Reed. Huh? Kowalski? Spike five. They were gonna peg him for a section eight. Spike six, ready. Was that? Ready to move out. Eyes forward, we're moving. I hear that head's been promoted to major. <laughs> so he's not a minor head anymore. I thought we was moving out. As soon as the LT gives the orders. Didn't they say he was a major? Spike three requesting a fucking clue. A major head. You gotta learn to relax when you get the chance. But we was ready 37 minutes ago. We're on army time. Man, how can you joke? There are guys out there who need killing. Yeah, mama rapers and daddy rapers. Say something, Spike. That's what we're here for, ain't it? They all moved away from me on the bench. <laughs> if you can't relax, could you at least shut up so I can... All right, let's cut the chatter. Prepare to move out. Just fucking figures. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Be careful what you wish for. The saints are watching over me. <sighs> you supposed to wrap your M4. Yep. It's S.O.P. It's also just about impossible to get too quick when somebody's actually shooting at your goddamn head. Me? I'd rather be insubordinate than dead. You? I... I guess. Here's our spot. Hold on. It's really dark out. Yeah, that's why they call it night. How can you see to drive? We just follow Spike 2. Wait, we Spike 4, ain't we? Yep. How come we're behind two? Cause six is second in line. Huh? <sighs> we're on army time. Suffered 
heavy casualties when they stumbled upon an insurgency. Kill it. God damn. Too bad they didn't have Whistling Johnny, eh, bro? What? Whistling Johnny. It was a story back home about this ghost soldier back in the Civil War who saved his unit one dark, foggy night by warning them the Rebs were sneaking up. Watch what you say about them Rebs. We don't never forget. Oh. Let him finish. Then we can ignore him some more. He warned them the enemy was a coming. And how did he do that? He whistled that. You know, that song. And then they knew to get ready. You ain't just whistling Dixie. <laughs> They must all be asleep. Someone must be. Ain't us. Man, I wanted some action. You wanna buzz the LT? Make a request? That's the guest rags, ain't it? Hmm. <coughs> How much longer? What? How much longer we got? About an um, hour and a half. Willie. What the fuck? Reed? What happened to Reed? He died. It was bad. But... but what? I mean, he got shot? Read the official debrief if you want the damn play-by-play. Who was this Reed guy anyway? His BFF? He was one of us. Oh, hell no. This is not the fucking time to start pulling this shit. You say something? Eyes forward, damn it. Uh, Listen, it's gonna get bad tonight. Already is. Huh? I'm talking to a dead guy, or I'm nuts. Either way, you just fucked my night. With the shit that's about to come down, I'm the least of your problems. Tell that to my motherfucking goosebumps. <laughs> nah, I've got a much more important message for you. Help me out here, bro. Just drop it. But if it was bad, I just want to know. The worst. I mean, the worst that could happen. Be prepared, all that shit. One time. And you never mention it again. On my mother's life, bro. That's why we don't do foot patrols anymore. Yeah? Fucking chill out. This ain't one of your, your Confederate War bullshit stories. Whistling Johnny is a proven story. Last chance. Right, sorry. We ran into sporadic gunfire. Just fucking with us, really. I won't say it was nothing, but nothing too heavy, you know? The sergeant lost it. Dumbass in charge was in country only a couple weeks. Snipers had him shit in his pants and he decided to beat feet. Move us all out of the danger zone so we could get back early and tell everyone how brave he was. And get pats on the head and some scooby stacks, you know? Want one? No, thanks. But he got you out? To safety? Oh, he got us out. Just forgot to do a couple of minor things, you know. You know, like a head count. We got separated somehow. Oh, shit. All alone, the city just swallowed him. No matter what we put out there, patrols, carriers, even a couple of helicopters, nothing. We quartered and cross-quartered that area for days. Found precisely jack shit. Maybe he's still alive? You think anyone gets a moment of silence without a goddamn corpse? Guess not. You better fucking believe it. They gotta find like 10% of you before they accept you're not just AWOL. So he turned up? Week later. In pieces. Dumped like garbage in an alley. Holy shit. There's nothing holy about it. Listen to me. It's gonna get bad. Bad? Tell me something I don't fucking know. I'm halfway around the goddamn world and everyone out there wants me dead. Oh, crap, with 40 other guys daily, and now you're here, dead and all, gonna tell me that it's gonna get bad. That's about right. You say something? Nothing. Okay, okay. You know how damn tempting it is? Just to let the breakdown come and tell somebody I've seen ghosts. Get the fuck out of here and leave this shit job to the newbies like Garcia back there. He's not gonna make it. Don't you tell me that. I wanted to warn you, but... <laughs> I don't know what's worse. That I'm talking to a dead man or that I... 
and I'm batshit crazy and I think I'm talking to a dead man. Uh, but I... What the fuck were you thinking? I was just... Zip it. Whatever you heard, there's no one here needs to hear it. I can't get it out of my head, bro. And spreading it around's gonna help. Hate to see you with crotch rot. But they... tortured him. Maybe even cut him up still alive. Shut up! And whatever you do, don't mention this shit in front of Kowalski or Mangold. This is just educational. Them guys will hurt you. Why me? Why not Ashwood or Mangold? I barely even know you. <laughs> Knew you. Don't think you're the only one. I'm telling anybody who will listen. You in? Yeah, What? whatever. There's going to be an ambush tonight. People are going to die. I'm here to guide you through it. You ain't just whistling Dixie. Can you believe that shit? They're covering their asses. Make sure you know where your unit is. Watch your battle buddies. Look both ways before crossing the street. Wear a condom. The dick you save could be your own. We gotta end this, dude. Now you're talking. Gotta keep fighting. They can't get away with shit like... Yeah. Go down fighting to the last breath. Yeah. If we don't do it, who will? We can't let, let them win. Right. Who will? This is it for me. What? It's just too damn much. Fighting's one thing, but at least back home, muggers and drunk drivers don't torture you to death. Or cut your head off. I've been in this shit way too long. Why aren't you an elephant or bikini model? Olsen! I'm here to get you through this. When the shit starts hitting the fan, you'll have two choices. Listen to me or not. It's all on you. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. So tell me, what's the afterlife like? It's at endless fields of pussy. I'm not here to talk about that. Just the ambush tonight. When I tell you to move, trust me and move. I'm just a guy. Hey, Reed. Look, man. I'm sorry. Really, goddamn. Reed? Reed? You really believe in this ghost shit? Well, yeah. There's all sorts of evidence to back it up. Don't you? You believe they stick around after death. With, like, a personality. An agenda. Whistling Johnny saved his friends. I knew a guy once. He insisted that ghosts were just sort of blots on the negative. Huh? Oh, jeez, you probably don't even remember cameras with film. Kind of like when you stare at a light for a while. You know, it sort of hangs around in your vision, even if you look away. Oh. Yeah. He said ghosts were like that. Only the eye was the world. A uh, ghost just sort of burns in for a while and eventually fades away. The harder you burn, the longer you last. Some things never completely fade. Like a soldier's shroud of Turin. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Talk to me, Garcia. Huh? About what? Anything. Except ghosts. Anything else. Tell me about your girl or, or your family or any damn thing to keep me awake. When I need to stay awake, I think of church. Church? Really? <laughs> yeah. I think how much more sleepy I would be if I was there. <laughs> <laughs> or I think of music. Man, if we could rock these puppies, we would keep everyone awake. Well, they'd sure as shit hear us coming. Right. Because we got the stealth Humvees now, eh? We're changing the route. Keep sharp. What the fuck? Maybe someone gave him some intel. There ain't enough intel in the world. What was it like out there on foot? You ever been on spring break? Well, yeah, bro. You ever see a hot chick drunk while you're on spring break? Yeah. You ever stuck with her thinking you might get lucky? Watched how helpless she was as she stumbled along trying to evade all the horny eyes that followed her thinking nasty thoughts? Maybe even watched her pass out and get jumped? Well, not the last part, but I can imagine it. What's that got to do with patrol? 
Feels like being that girl. Something up ahead. It, it's on. What you doing? You driving right at it. They want us to stop, dipshit. Moving is our best defense. But we, we can't even see what's up ahead. It's too bright. Shut up and stay frosty. If you even hear anything, lay down a cover and fire. Even if you can't see yet. They're counting on us. Son of a bitch! God damn it. Fucking numb nuts. Now you're all... Keep moving. Move your ass. Ah! Shit. They'll move it for you. Garcia, shit. I can't. Can you hear? Garcia. Fuck. Yeah. Both hands. Oh, good. Oh, fucking hot. Garcia. Yeah. Shit, you're bleeding. I ain't it's the glass. We gotta get out of here. Where goddamn armor plate is sitting duck. I tried to warn you all. No one believed me. You all thought the pressure was making you snap. Shit. Big fucking help. Garcia! Keep it going! Yeah! My pal Kincaid just got out. Lucky or unlucky? Lucky, I guess. He's missing most of one leg. They can't drag you back in after that. That's what you call lucky? What do you mean, then? Lucky? Dead, I guess. But even with only one leg... Living is still living. What I've seen, it just means you die slower. If I get shot, I want it to be quick. Headshot. Put me down. Game over. Game over. Even a one-legged man can still get laid. Give him a half a point there. Goddamn, Reed. I'm sorry. What do I do now? Seriously. I believe in you. I, I even believe in fucking Tinkerbell if she's out there with you. Even if I'm nuts, you get me out of here and I'll be right there on Ghost Hunters telling everybody my very special story. Whatever the fuck you want. Get out. Stay behind the Hummer. Return fire if you see the bastards. I told Kawaski to make his way back here and link up with you. Head for the alley across the street. Follow it to the next block. But he's way up at five. He'll be here. Yeah! Told you he wouldn't make it. Two. Ugh. It's not that bad a hand. Dealer takes one. No, no, not that. What then? Nothing. Yeah, leave it be. <clears throat> hey, you don't want to... Cigarette burns, lacerations, severed two millimeters about the ulna, crushed cervical vertebrae? I told you not to. What the fuck, brah? I had to know what happened to Reed. Get out! Stay behind the armor. Return fire. Stop, damn ghost. Just moment of instincts. Right. You forgot for the alley. That's a shit plan! You got anything better? Maybe you want to stay here and selflessly get the shit blown out of you with everybody else. You can't leave them. Like you all left me. But they're dead. Or dying. You still got a chance. You, Kowalski, maybe Melon. Ah! Kowalski, anyway. And you being funny? What the hell? I can be any way I want. I'm just in your head, right? Where's this damned alley? <laughs> Melon? <clears throat> uh, I'll be right there. What's up? It's the last goddamn straw. What is? This. Selfish. Goddamn bitch. It's not her fault. Don't make excuses. Sometimes morale is all you got left, and we're already just about fucking tapped out. Shit! Ah, uh -huh. up there! Ah! Eat that, motherfucker! Who the... Kowalski! Kowalski! Shithead! Get to the alley, dammit! Kowalski!
Kowalski! I got him! Cover me! Where the hell are you, you big Texas bastard? Oh! Shit! Freaking Bill me. Go on. In. Chatter. Prepare to move out. Spike five. Out. You ready? Hmm. What's the worst that could happen? God damn it, Melon. You got a death wish or something? I got no wishes at all. Then let me give you one of mine. I want to get out of this damn Humvee alive. I can do that. Just a few more yards. You in here? Kowalski! Kowalski! Big pussy! Wait up, you fucking asshole! Kowalski! You can't save him. What the fuck? He said to follow him! Oh, I did. <laughs> but it wasn't to save him. What?! Shit! Keep moving! Keep moving! Almost that line of sight! That'll... Oh shit! What's wrong, really, boy? They got him. So sad. Abandoned by everybody. In the middle of shit city. Capital of getting your ass thoroughly reamed. Can't stop them all. It's not. Just don't have the ammo! A little late anyway. I want to see this. At least he got to die quick. Hear them? They're behind you now. Move and die, or don't move and, well, die. Help me, Reed! Help? Don't you get it yet, cockbite? You douchebags left me to die alone out in this shithole. Well, fuck you. Fuck all of you. I led you right into this shit. Oh! Now that you know how to find us, don't be a stranger. We have enough of those already. Tonight's episode, Night Patrol, was adapted by Julie Hoverson from an original story by Steve Wilson. In tonight's story, Olson was Renaud LaBeouf, Kowalski was Danner Hoverson, Reed was Sean Connor, Garcia was Henry Marks, and Mellon was Mike Campbell. Lieutenant Head was Jason Zippe. The commander was Glenn Hallstrom. The other soldiers were Mark Olson, Julie Hoverson, James Sedgwick, Jack Hosley of Wander Radio. The news announcer was Suzanne Dunn, the 19 Nocturne Boulevard intern savant. Music for this episode was by Stacey Sullivan. Also included was the song The Wrong Side of the Revolution by Josh Woodward. Thanks to Bill Jones for his help finding the photo for the cover art. Sound and mastering was done by Julie Hoverson. Sound effects were found on SoundSnap.com, OneSoundFX.com, and Sonomic.com. The opening theme was by Kevin McLeod at Incompetech.com. The opening credits featured Cole Hornaday, Renaud LaBeouf, and Julie Hoverson. All persons, places, and events in this story were fictitious or used in a fictitious manner and are not meant to reflect any persons, places, or things, living, dead, or undead. Questions? Comments? We would love to hear from you. Contact us at 19nocturnatlive.com, that's 19nocturne, or check out our website at www.19nocturneboulevard.com. This presentation is copyright 2011 to Julie Hoverson and Reality Productions and is released under a Creative Commons non-commercial license. Spread the show around, but don't try to make money off it.
Yay, bait! <laughs> I like bait. It's great for fishing. We're fishing, right, guys? Right? Guys? Disky. <laughs> no, I am not whistling Disky. I do not know what Disky is. Uh, so, uh, talk to me, Instant Expendable. <clears throat> you ain't just whistling Disky. <laughs> <laughs>